We've got Sam in Texas. Sam, you're live with Eric and Thomas. What would you like to talk about? Hi. Well, uh, yeah, how you doing? I guess you know, the reason why I'm well. calling is because... Oh, what's up? Yeah, I, why, why, why are you calling? Yeah. What's up? Well, um, a couple of things. One is you're the guy there, I forgot his name, um, since I don't have the computer in front of me. But okay, he was mentioning that, you know, about evidence proving uh, stories in the Bible are accurate or whatever it may be. So, <clears throat> you see, for, for an atheist, um, you need to see to believe, right? Not that, necessarily. That fair statement. I, I... I think that's a very reductionist. You, you, you would need to. I think so it's a very, what would I think be it's a very uh, proof to you of, that, of what that the Bible or Christian uh, that 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 the things in the Bible are true? What would be like for God, for instance? What would sure. be proof to you? You would need to yeah. see God to believe it. Okay, so right? um, I, I, I can I can absolutely help there. Um, is Nazareth a place? Bethlehem, Judea, right? Well, Where what, what I'm helping you here, well, well, hold no. on, hold on, hold on. would seeing God help you? Sam. That's a simple question. Sam, that's a second. That's another question. Okay, I'm well, happy to answer the second one, but I want to finish answering the first one. Go so, for okay, cool. So, did Judea exist? Absolutely. Was there possibly a King David? Actually, evidence shows there may have been. Um, th th there are events that, uh, you know, and in places that we can see exist. And I'm, I'm not of the opinion that everything is wrong just because it's in the Bible. Eric, what I'm, Eric, 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 listen, listen. Sam. Please. I'm Sam, not telling you that places, I'm telling you God. Sam, you, you specifically to asked. I'm telling you to believe in God. Sam. You're you changing the see question. To believe, you need to see God to believe God, right? Sam, you're changing the question. Go ahead. The, the question Sorry. that you asked was... No, you, um, you want to talk about cities, the and Bible I want to talk about being God. True, because you asked about the Bible being true. If you want to change the question, I'm fine with that. But if not, then if we don't make sure we're clear on what we're talking about, we're going to talk past each other, and then people and, get angry. And you're talking... And, no, but, no, Eric... Listen, you're telling me cities that we can agree on are true in the Bible. That if we're talking about geography, then the Bible's true. I'm, I'm talking about God here. I'm not talking about cities. Okay, so then don't, let's not point at the Bible, and let's specifically talk about a claim that you want to know if I think it's true. So would you like to point to a claim that you, that you think I should believe is true? Well, the reason why I'm talking about the Bible is because the Bible claims that there's a God. But you they want to claim. point out cities. I'm trying to tell you, for you to believe well, that there's a God, you need to see God in order to believe it. Is that correct? Sam, I, I just want to butt in here, because I, I think the reason you guys might be talking past each other is because you are asking whether or not the God of the Bible is true. And I think that there's two distinctions that can be made, because you can argue that whether or not God is true, but then there's a million different types of gods that, that could be. But then, in order no, to argue that Eric, the God of the Bible Eric, is true, uh, hear me out. If you want to argue that the God of the Bible is true, well, if we disprove the Bible, we haven't disproved the existence of a God or of all gods. We've just shown that the Bible itself isn't a credible source. And so the God of the Bible probably isn't true as defined in the Bible. And so, it, which, which route do you want to go down? I'm afraid to agree to anything I got to tell you. Sam? Okay. Well, we wasted a lot Sam, of time right now. Sam. I want you to listen very carefully. We're talking about points. Or we're talking about the Bible. When you start saying you're afraid, you're making it personal. And if you make it personal, you can make it personal on somebody else's show. Okay? Listen, Eric. I'm don't, just, no, you Sam, want to talk about cities. I, I want to talk about I want God. you to understand that because that is your one warning. Okay? I don't do vitriolic name calling yeah, hey, crap. Listen. Okay. So so okay, let's let's This is what I'm kind of interested in. Okay. Give do you Eric, want to ask a question? Okay. Give us the clear question and then let us answer it. What is the question you want to ask cuz it sounds like it's not uh why don't we believe in the Bible? What one specific thing do you want us to talk about? You get one cuz we okay. this call in show. We've got lots of other God. calls. God. God. Okay. You need to see God 
to believe him. Okay. Do so, you need to see to believe? So God, there are, there's, Sam? That's the question, sir. That's okay. the question I'm asking you. Sure. Let's, you, let's, you let's take a look at the God. God to believe him. Yeah. Do you think that p different denominations of Christianity have different thoughts about God? Are you a Mormon? Are you a Seventh-day Adventist? Are okay. you a Catholic? They all have different definitions. So before you get on your high horse, let's make sure we're understanding what we're talking about. Can you define what are some characteristics of that God? Maybe if I know what characteristics you're talking about, we can look for them together. Eric, can you share with the audience, what did your screener put down by my name, the reason for my call? Caller thinks hosts need to view the Bible in a different light. Right. So that's what I'm bringing you. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about cities. I'm specifically talking about God, because can we agree that the Bible claims that there is a living God? Can we agree with that? Okay. I can agree with that. If just just for the sake of argument, sure. I want to see where you're going. Oh, yeah, we, we can agree that the Bible claims that. Sure, why not? Okay, the Bible claims that there is a living God. That's all I'm trying to say here. That's the reason why I brought up the Bible. But right away, you're talking about, and then I mentioned, secondly, is that you need to see to believe. And after I said that, you immediately started going off into well, Jerusalem and, and Sam, Judea and Bethlehem think... and Israel. And I'm like, I'm talking about God here. I'm not scene... talking about a, a continent. <laughs> I think that the so whole scene to, to believe God to believe, is, right? You need to see to believe. It's more complicated okay. than that because it certainly would help to be able to see a God. I think absolutely. If we're able to see a God, I think that that would go a long way. The fact is we can't, but just because you do see a God doesn't mean that it's true because there's a lot of religions. I think you would agree with me. You know, like Muhammad claimed that he had encounters with God, and you probably would agree that that's not the right God. And lots of people have claimed that they've seen gods and deities. Egyptians had their whole pantheon. Norse gods had their gods. Many people claimed that they had divine encounters with deities, but I don't think you believe that those are true. So I don't think that just because you have an experience like that, that that in itself is necessarily sufficient because there's so many reasons why our brains can misfire and why we can think we experience things that may not even be there at all. Does that, uh, that, that makes the question a little more complicated for sure, but I think that that's how we have to start looking at it. You know, it, it this is completely amazing to me that I started the conversation with a simple question of you need to see to believe. No, that and is an accusation, so Sam. We haven't Do you even understand gone how beyond. language works? Sam, you need to see to believe is an accusation about us and how we interact with the world. You didn't ask us, no, you okay, carried okay. with you the assumption. Let me, but I just, Eric, told you, I just told you, Sam, that let if, me help if you I out. saw that Sam, I listen to see to believe. believe. Sam, we're answering, you need to listen. Thomas, do you want to say that well, again? Sam, what, what I was saying is you're saying we need to see to believe. And I'm saying actually seeing isn't really sufficient. Depending on what the you claim see, is. The thing is I was actually going to try to agree with you guys that I need to see to believe because honestly and truthfully, that's the way I live. I, I got to see to believe. That's the only okay. thing that makes me a Christian. That's the only thing that, that makes me uh, a believer in God is because I need to see to believe. And so my reason is, is because you're not going to answer about agreeing on that specific quote. I'm just Whoa, go ahead stop, and, Sam. And I answered you didn't like myself. it. Do not mischaracterize that. I must have missed it. What, what, was your, what was your answer? My answer is. Do you, do you agree with that quote? That yes, you need to see to believe? No, so, I, so, I said like three times, no, seeing is insufficient. Sometimes, most of the time, there's, yeah, there's a lot more. Wow. If I had God stand in front of me, I would believe. You're not listening. Why don't you respond? You asked the question and he answered it. Did you, uh, do you understand that he answered it? 
that yes that do you that agree that he that answered he, it? that's not the case bro do you me, agree that he answered it? I, do you agree that yes, he, answered he answered it yes or yes. no sam yes Eric. Yes, perfect Eric. thank you yes. now we can move forward so the thing okay then with that said then i'll just say for your co-host for the day that he's unsavable because even seeing he says he wouldn't believe you see this is what the bible tells us i really don't care about what the bible tells are getting, us because i don't think it has an, I, I don't it's think it's true denying god okay. uh, sam because would you, would you agree though said, that i'm wrong would you agree or do you think that i'm wrong in saying that if you see another can god you, from another religion that sorry. that's insufficient did you hear what he said i i okay. No, what I heard. No, 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 Sam. Did you hear what Thomas just said right now? Thomas, yes. Did you yes. hear what he said? Thomas, that it wouldn't be sufficient. Like so if you need see more than to see a God. God appear before you, would you instantly believe that that God is is real? I'm. I'm not. I'm, 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 yes, I would. You would. Yeah. So if 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 it's all like, of a sudden yeah. you you saw some crazy wild outlandish thing, you would just believe whatever you saw. You wouldn't think maybe I'm having a focal point seizure, maybe I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, maybe I, I ate a spoiled piece of meat last night, Come or maybe on. I'm on drugs. Or did I like, answer the question, Eric? A Eric, dream stop or him. Vision? tell him. Did I answer the question? You did, and Eric, he's he's, he's, he's. Did he's, I answer the I, question? I answer the question. Look at Thomas. Here, here's the thing. I'm telling you right now, as a Christian and a full-on child of God, that if a Hindu God appeared before me, I would believe that Hindu God. And that's why I think Hindu that. God. Yeah, that's why I think that. Because the, I need the, to the see to using, believe. That's why I think the tools you're using are crappy. Do you believe in all of the people who say that they were abducted by aliens? I'm not talking about other people. I'm saying you yourself, you Stop Eric. It. Just, you, Thomas. I don't if care. You, Thomas, I'm, doubting Thomas. If you put your, if God appeared to you in the flesh, would you believe We're using him? these other instances to show that you wouldn't how, be sufficient. Unre- Sam, we're using these other instances to show you how unreliable eyewitness testimony is, and including your own eyes. I'm talking about people. Eyes. I'm talking about you. I know. Well, congratulations. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, saying my eyes too can deceive me my brain can deceive me this whole experience can be tampered with it's not the most reliable tool watch watch an episode of brain games like in brain games they'll go through and they'll show you a million different ways where there's people who have been put in prison uh, decades of their life and who've lost decades of their life only to have dna evidence exonerate them because they were put in jail because of eyewitness testimony that got it wrong okay listen thomas uh all i'm saying is there's no help for you but i'm gonna go to eric now for a second eric Hey, if Sam? God appeared to himself Sam? in front of you, would you believe Sam? him? Sam? Yes. Yes, sir. I do the pacing for the show, not you. If you want to railroad us, you can create your own show. But this is a dialogue, not the show that, no, no, that no, no, Sam no. is running. So when we hit the brakes, you're going to break. Why? Got it? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. So we Eric? talked about, I'm going to recap. I want to make sure that you agree we're on the same page. You came in with the accusation and the assertion that we need to see to believe. We disagreed with you. And we, I, 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 I might be just speaking for Thomas, but I don't think that I'm very special as a human. I think I'm just a human like anybody else. And I think my, I think Thomas agrees with that. And because of that, when we bring up, I don't know, apparently there's no hope for me. Well, the, well yeah, which is incredibly I mean, God can appear himself before you and you would say that your mind is deceiving you. Is that not true? Did you just say that? I, I, I mean, God can I literally does, appear does, in does, front of you. There are, ways, there are ways to test things and to try to see if something is reliable and true. And we can get into what some of those methods are. But I don't Thomas, think... We don't just have that I time. We just have... Okay, I'm sorry. Just because I see something, I don't think that that means that it's necessarily true. It would help... It would definitely help if I was able to see and engage with the God. It would help even more if everyone else was able to see it too and engage with it and test it and use scientific (laughs) tests on it. Yeah. But the the, the tool that you're using, Sam, 
is the same tool that people use to justify the fact that they still think Elvis is alive and that people get abducted by aliens and that they see Bigfoot. It's the same reasoning. No. They said they see it. No. Well, Tell me well, how it's different. Amazing. Stop it. Tell me how it's different. Because, because what's different is, is that God can appear in your studio right now no. in a flash of an eye. Well, then why well, no, no, wait. Stop. On, wait, let's wait. God? Can you, like, appear on camera? It would, it would, it would, right now, it, it would, it would really help me and everyone watching if we could have God. But like, the thing is, right now, right now, you, hold, hold on a second, hold on, there. hold on, Wait, hold on. You God, are, are you there? <laughs> oh, what? did you see that? Oh my God. I, I think we might be believers now. He, Sam, he, he, here's the thing. Sam, yeah, no. the claim, the claim is exactly Here's the same. Thing, Eric. The, no, no, the the claim right. is the you same. You don't believe the claim is the same. They said they believe. They said they believe it because they saw it. And if seeing is believing for you, then if you're going to be consistent, do you believe in Bigfoot? What are you saying? He hasn't seen. This Bigfoot. is what I'm saying, Eric. No, Eric, Eric, answer me yes or no. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Entire audience. Do you believe no, in Bigfoot? I do not. Okay, do you believe the people who say that they've been abducted by aliens? Do you believe their stories? No, I don't. Do you think that they're lying or do you think that they actually saw something and just are mistaken? Because I I'm, I already told you, you missed it. I need well, well, to Can believe. you repeat it then? Because I, I must have not caught it. I've been saying this since for like the last, I said it about a dozen times. You see, I've already said I need to see to believe. So well, if yeah, I saw no, somebody I'm, I'm get abducted by aliens, about, guess what I'm going to yeah. do? I'm going to believe. Sam, I'm talking specifically about people who've had these or claim that they've had these experiences. Do you think that they're com all completely lying and they're con artists, or do you think that they think that they believe it? Like, do you think that they're genuine? The people who claim they that they saw something and were abducted by aliens, do you think that they're just mistaken, but they saw something, or that they're completely lying and they didn't see anything? Like, which of those two? No. I'm telling you that I'm like, what, which of those two do you think believe. that they experience? Well, I could care less because I, it, well, none no, of them matter important. because Just I need like, to see will it you to believe humor it. Me, Sam, will you humor me for this? Which two do you think that is the case? Do you think that they experience something and they're mistaken or that they're all liars? They're all liars for sure. They're all liars. So liars. everyone who thinks that they saw Bigfoot, thinks that Absolutely. they saw Loch Ness, thinks that they were abducted by aliens, thinks that they saw Elvis, <laughs> every single one of them is a dishonest charlatan liar. Is that my right? Uh, yeah, it's your yeah, right. I just, yeah, it's your right, right to be an right asshole. To That's I fine. No, I, I don't even think it's an asshole thing okay. to be wrong. Like, I just think that you're wrong. Like, 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 I'm like, like, I'm being stoned. Pick up, set, set down the rocks, please. No, hold on a <laughs> second. Yes, all if lies. you're going to point at an entire group of people and say what you are firmly claiming about yourself and your beliefs is you are lying to my face and you know you're lying, that right there is shitty. When people call into this show, I don't That's assume that you're lying to me. I assume that you are bringing your best and that you believe the things you're saying because we want to practice integrity and assume that you're an honest interlocutor who really believes that so that we can meet you where you are and have that conversation. The fact you're not willing to do that with other people is evidenced by the fact that when you came on the show, you made an accusation about us. And when we try to tell you that's not the case, all you did was talk over us. I think you need to practice. Oh, I'm sorry. Some, some, are, are, are you a Christian? Well, if we were a Christian, would you treat us it? better? I, 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 I didn't know that you guys were Christian because I thought you guys didn't believe in Christianity. And it was all fairy tales like I've been listening to for the last month. You guys talking what about. Was, you know, oh, wait, wait, wait. What do you need a Christian have to do? Oh, have right? I ever I said mean, it was all fairy tales? On, on, on this whole thing. But I, I, I know you're so I, I, I think you got in a really, like, really like bad you. argument okay. on Facebook, and you're taking your rage out on us. Talk to us. One, Don't. One second. No. I, I really want him to. Uh, he's he's shortening his news, and I want to see where he goes with this. You you said, "Are we Christian? What does that have? Are you saying that non Christians can't be honest, and only Christians can be honest?" No, because of the fact that you're a non-Christian. In other words, I'm a non-believer in in these uh, extraterrestrials and these Bigfoots. I'm not an, a, an agnostic. Are you an agnostic or are you no, a talk no, Are you an that's, atheist? No, that's, that's a, that's I'm kind of getting mixed signals here. That, that's a, a false dichotomy. There are plenty of Christians. Atheist. 
Sam, that's a false dichotomy. There are plenty of Christians who believe in Bigfoot. There are plenty of Christians who believe in Loch Ness and who believe in aliens. Well, I'm only one man. I'm only one man. I mean, I'm what not speaking for everybody. You guys speak for everybody. I don't. I, I call to talk to you and, the, and Thomas, Eric and Thomas. But you're yeah. over here, you know. This guy's yeah. a troll. I, 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 I don't think so because he reminds me of my uncle. I've honestly had these conversations. Um, so so I, I, I think he's well, yeah, got, a, got a, back, a very, back very first... clear oh, thought in his head about it. And instead yeah. of Sir. honestly engaging, I, I think he's he's arguing against It's called a straw man. When you build up this idea of a person and attack that idea instead of the person. We're, we're giving you examples. We're trying to provide teachable moments. And instead, you're interrupting and saying you're not talking about you specifically. We're giving you all of these different responses to respond to the numerous things, which, by the way, is called moving the goalposts, right? So okay. I, I think right. I, I think we're done with our time <laughs> with you. And I think that this you, one... please, need to practice charitable listening. Okay. Let's just make one. Char did, char did, did you hear what I said? That the frustrating, you? The frustrating yes, thing here, I Sam, did hear. The frustrating thing here, from, for me at least, is that you started this conversation with an assumption of what we believed without asking us what we believed. You assumed that, oh, you have to, if you see it, you'll believe it. And otherwise, you know, there's no hope for you. And I think when we told you that that wasn't the case, and when we didn't fit your little box, when we didn't fit this narrative that you created, then you you got upset. Tried to stop. And, us in. and then then you just said that oh, everyone who you know claims that they you know see or believe a particular thing, they're all just liars. And I think that that is where like you've got some work to do man if you want to if you really want to connect with people and if you really want to engage with them and learn from them because there are you can learn something from anyone but especially from people who disagree with you if you want to learn and have productive conversations you have to listen and not just assume that you know what they believe before you start the conversation and, and if if, if your okay. assumption is that they're a liar don't start the conversation because you're not ready to have it Listen, listen, guys. Okay, let's just, listening? let's just make this perfectly clear for your, for your audience. Yeah. No, I, I, no, no. I, you don't get this, this audience unless I say you do. Audience. With, Sam, no, with, you don't get this audience unless I say you do. So listen. Charitable listening. Is, is it, it okay, Eric? If someone if says something, okay, you're done. You don't get this fucking audience. Bye. You can fucking listen to the playback. Charitable listening. If someone says something and it could be taken the wrong way, right? What you want to do is assume that they meant the best possible version of that, that you can interpret that you can interpret that in the best way. Let them let you down, but don't assume that they're dishonest. Don't assume that they're liars. And for fuck's sake, don't try and fit them into a box because you can attack the box better. We're, uh, we deserve better than that. We try to to make sure we do that by giving that same gracious, we, we, by giving that same opportunity to our callers. He's not ready to have the conversation.